Hey, how's it going? And welcome to a quick guide on how to get the four bound weapons available in the game. And they are the bound bow, the bound sword, bound axe, and the little known and unique bound dagger. But before we start, the following perks are very useful if you're using any and all bound weapons. And they are soul stealer, all bound weapons, soul trap enemies killed uh, with them if you have a large enough soul gem. Oblivion Binding banishes any summons creature and turns any raised ones. This works up to level 99 for bound weapons, so it is super effective. So if you take both of these, you've effectively triple enchanted your weapon. Mystic Binding increases the damage of all bound weapons. Quiet Casting, absolutely essential perk in my opinion. All weapon perks work for that particular bound weapon and poisons can be applied to each and all of them. Okay, so we'll start with the one bound weapon I strongly recommend you get, especially if you're a low level character, and that is the bound bow. A conjuration skill of 50 or higher is required before this spell tone becomes available to buy, and apparently it can be found as loot at any level, but I've never found it at a low level, so uh, take that as you want. So if you want to guarantee getting it, especially at a low level, you have to travel to Fort Amol, which is a fort northeast of Iverstead, slightly off the road to Whiterun. But the easiest way is probably from Windhelm if you haven't discovered anything nearby. Be warned, it's overrun with mages who will easily kill you if you're at a lower level. And you have to go through a door where you'll find a couple of mages. Now these guys are tough and you have to kill them. If it helps, I'll be leaving a link in the video description to an older video showing you how to do it, even at a really, really low level. FYI, you'll need a Storm Atronach Staff and an Invisibility Potion, and I'll leave links to videos that help you with those as well. Anyway, once they're dealt with, you'll find the Spell Tome in a bucket in the corner of the room. Okay, so let's have a quick look at this. Um, when cast, the Bound Bow equips an ethereal version of the Daedric Bow and 100 ethereal Daedric arrows for 120 seconds. You'll never run out of arrows, you just recast the spell. The Bound Bow has a base damage of 18, which increases to 24 after the perk Mystic Binding is applied. The Bound Arrows have a damage rating of 24, the same as the Daedric Arrows. Uh, this bow actually has the fastest bow speed in the game, uh, I believe. And it works with all the perks mentioned before, including all on the archery perk tree. And it is infected by enchantments and it can be poisoned. Next up is the Bound Sword. A conjuration skill of 25 or higher is required before this spell tome becomes available to buy and apparently it can be found as loot at any level. Uh, but the only place I know that you're guaranteed to get it is at Trevor's Watch, which is a fort located west of Rifton along the river near halfway to Iverstead. Now, this place is full of bandits and can be quite a tough task for a low level character. So I suggest you bring a follower and health potions. It's quite a sprawling little fort, but after you've killed all the bandits, you'll find the spell tome on the bandit leader's desk. When cast, the bound sword equips an ethereal version of the Daedric sword for 120 seconds. It has a base damage of nine without any perks and a base damage of 14 when the conjuration level 20 perk mystic binding has been applied. It works with all the perks mentioned before, including all the ones on the one handed perk tree. It is affected by uh, enchantments and can be point poisoned and this sword can be dual wielded. The one thing to note is all bound weapons use less stamina than normal weapons due to them having no weight. Though oddly enough, I believe the swing speed is exactly the same and elemental fury can't be used with them if you've taken the soul stealer and mystic binding perks. And next up is probably the least liked uh, bound weapon, but I think it's great for a battle mage character. Well, if two handed weapons is your thing. Anyway, a conjuration skill of 25 or higher is required before this spell tone becomes available to buy. And it can be found as loot at any level. Unlike the previous two, um, I don't know of any specific place where you're guaranteed to find this spell tone, so you'll be forced to buy it. 
uh, if you're not lucky with a looting. And I have found this on several occasions, actually. The bound battleaxe summons an ethereal version of the Daedric battleaxe for 120 seconds. The base damage for this weapon is 17, which is uh, increased to 22 after applying the Mystic Binding Perk. The axe is a two-handed weapon, and like the sword, even though it's weightless, it still uses stamina, though at a much, much lower rate than a normal weapon. It works with all the per perks mentioned before, including all on the two-handed perk tree. It is inf affected by enchantments, and it can be poisoned. And lastly, but most certainly not least, is my second favourite after the bow, and that's the Bound Dagger, and can only be bought from Talvus of Fathrion once From the Ashes is completed. And this is only available with the Dragon Ball DLC, which I imagine everyone has anyway. So to get this, you will have to travel to Solstheim and Raven Rock. From there, you will have to then travel to Tel Mithrin, which is a Telvani settlement on a peninsula in southeastern Solstheim, and the home of Niloth, a master Telvani wizard lord and enchanting trainer. When you first arrive, you will meet uh, Tovas Fathrion, who has been unsuccessfully been trying to summon an Ash Guardian. Just quickly speak to him. I don't think you belong here. Yes, I'm trying to summon an Ash Guardian. Just having trouble deciphering Master Neloth's handwriting. Then simply leave him and go inside the main building and speak to Neloth. You don't have to go through any dialogue. Just speak, then exit out, and return outside. How am I supposed to get anything done with Pablo? I don't recall inviting you into my tower. Once back outside, and Talvas will desperately ask for help concerning the Ash Guardian he summoned, but it's run nuts. So, kill the Ash Guardian, but be careful, these are quite powerful. Thank you. I was hoping you would. Hurry, I'll keep Master Neloth distracted. Over here! And once that's done, wait for Talvas to go back into the main building. Then just follow him in and give him the good news on the outcome of his slight magical misstep. Master Neloth surely would have punished me had he found out. I can't pay you, but I could teach you the Ash Guardian spell. Although maybe that doesn't sound like a good idea to you after this. I do have a staff I could As a reward for the help, he will offer you either the spell he developed, Conjure Ash Guardian, together with a Heartstone, which is required to control it or a staff of mage light. I would take the uh, spell tone personally, uh, but it's up to you. Good day, friend. Keeping well? Hmm. Take a look. Then simply ask what he has for sale, and voila, you can now buy the Bound Dagger, and as far as I know, you can't get the spell tome anywhere else. And when cast, the Bound Dagger equips an ethereal version of the Daedric Dagger for 120 seconds. It has a base damage of 6 without any perks, and a base damage of 10 when the Conjuration Level 20 perk, Mystic Binding, has been taken. It works with all the perks mentioned before, including all on the one-handed perk tree, and it is affected by enchantments and it can be poisoned. And also, this dagger can be dual wielded. So, there you go, all the bound weapons found in the game. I would definitely recommend the bound bow if you're only going for one, but the bound dagger is pretty good too. Plus, you get the unique spell um, Ash Guardian if your conjuration is high enough, and you'll be able to recruit Talvas as a follower, and he's quite decent in my opinion. Anyway, Hope you enjoyed the vid and I'll catch you later. Love you.